So here we have two digit by two digit multiplication questions. And before we do this, we need to make sure that we're already really good at multiplying by single digit numbers using short multiplication. So with two digit by two digit multiplication, we're going to multiply by the ones digit, then on our second answer line, we're going to multiply by the tens digit, then we're going to add up our answers. So here we start with one times one, which is one, and then six times one is six. Now, before we move on to the digit in our tens, we would normally cross out our working, but we don't have any here, so we can go straight on to multiplying by the tens digit. But because this 5 is in our 10s, we need a 0 in our 1s. So we always need a 0 in the 1s of our second answer line. So now 1 times 5 is 5, and 6 times 5 is 30. So we've multiplied, we've got our two answer lines, so now we just add up our answer lines. 1 plus 0 is 1. 6 plus 5 is 11, so 1, 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, and nothing plus 3 is 3, so we have our answer. Now, 73 times 27. We start by multiplying the digits in the 1s, and 3 times 7 is 21, but because that's a two-digit number, we need to write 21 as 2, 1. Now we have 7 times 7, which is 49, but we need to add the 2 that's on top. So 7 times 7 is 49, plus 2 is 51. Now we can cross out our working, and we're multiplying by the 2 digit, so we need a 0 in the 1s of our second answer line. Now 3 times 2 is 6, and 7 times 2 is 14. So we can add up our answer lines. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, 5 plus 4 is 9, and nothing plus 1 is 1. So we have our answer. Now 73 times 25. We start by multiplying the 1's digits, and 3 times 5 is 15, so 1, 5. Now, 7 times 5 is 35, plus 1 is 36, and we don't have any more digits to the left, so we can write the 36 in our answer line. So now, we cross out our working, and now we're multiplying by the tens digit, so we need a 0 in the 1s. 3 times 2 is 6, and 7 times 2 is 14. We don't have any more digits to multiply, so we can write the 14 in our second answer line. So now, 5 plus 0 is 5, 6 plus 6 is 12, so 1, 2. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 8, nothing plus 1 is 1. 44 times 58. So 4 times 8 is 32, that's 3, 2. And now 4 times 8 is 32, plus 3 is 35. And we don't have any more digits to the left, so we can write the 35 in our answer line. Now it's really important that we remember to cross out our working and write a zero in our second answer line. Now, four times five is 20, so two, zero. And four times five is 20, plus two is 22. And you can see here why it was really important that we crossed out our working after we'd multiplied by 8, because when we did 4 times 5, we needed to add 2 
not add 3. So now we can just add up our answer lines and our answer is 2,552.